Victor Kwase Mensah, born June 6, 1993. I thought that rap would take me around the world. I thought that rap would give me a platform where people like you want to speak to me and where kids listen to my lyrics and learn from what I have to say. A quote from Vic Mensa during his interview with Music Connection that stood out to me when researching but still doubtful about writing an entire feature on Vic Mensa. But this quote rounded the way I've always felt about him from the outside looking in. In outside, I mean a person that's never been a fan of Vic Mensa. But per numerous requests, I guess it's time. The quote suggests that Vic saw an opportunity to use his talent to break into the music industry, saying and doing whatever he needed to gain the platform he wanted to eventually swerve off into who he really wanted to be as an artist. He created the character Vic Mensa and is well aware of the moves he makes to develop the character into who he sees himself as. I'll be lying if I said I've ever been interested in anything Vic Mensa and never got why on the internet at one point. It felt like maybe I wasn't seeing something many were. But then I checked the stats to see that no, not many view Vic Mensa as an artist worth supporting either, as his sales never really matched the persona he managed to build up on the internet. Of course, sales isn't everything as talented artists are passed over every day because they lack something personality-wise that hinders them from selling and being a star, but it's not nothing either to see an artist not connect to his fans enough to have them monetarily support him. Sales doesn't measure talent, but to me it does measure entertainment success and Vic Mensa has seemed to struggle in that area. Where I think Mensa was really able to shine is in his unique way of making the right connections to the people that could put him in position to succeed. Not everyone meets a chance to rapper at 14 years old, develops a relationship with him, and is around when Chance became one of the top artists in hip-hop. To meeting Kanye West and securing a feature with him on Jess's second song, to signing with Jay-Z and Rock Nation to distribute his music. Vic Mensa's plan to infiltrate hip-hop worked and got him in the door, but his music couldn't carry him much further, as he hasn't put out a successful album since his debut in 2017 that sold 15,000 first week and landed at number 27 on the US Billboard charts. He released another album in 2023 that flopped, and numerous singles since then that have all missed the mark with his latest Billboard charting song coming in 2015 featuring Kanye West. As versatile Vic Mensa to his credit is, I think for these reasons his growth was stunted. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music. Let's get it man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Vic Mensa is a rapper, punk rap, and attempted rock artist from Hyde Park, Illinois, who's always had a love for music and a diverse selection of artists he was influenced by, ranging from pop to rock and roll, country and hip-hop. He meets Chance the Rapper as a freshman in high school and knew him only in passing until the two connected over music. They quickly became friends and set off on their own journey toward being viable music artists. Along with the collective he and Chance created called Save Money, Mensa also helped create the band Kids These Days, a punk rap band that released an EP in 2011 and an album in 2012. They decided to disband in 2013 to pursue solo careers and other endeavors. He was included on Chance the Rapper's highly acclaimed Acid Rap mixtape, which caught the attention of Rock Nation who went on to quickly sign the rapper and put him on tour with J. Cole and Wale in 2014. He was later a part of the XXL freshman cover on his way to getting opportunities of a lifetime the caliber of artists he encountered that should have pushed his career at least to a bright upcoming artist but that just never took shape. Stun number 1. A Persona That Didn't Connect Looking at the career of Vic Mensa, again from the majority perspective of what I think caused the disconnect between he and the fans, is he simply always seemed corny and not real to many of them and that never lasts the test of time. He actually suffers from the same thing Chance the Rapper does. His community doesn't view him as cool or true to some of the things he says. 
Machine Gun Kelly, Logic, Chance, Vic Mensa, all these guys are pretty much one in the same perception wise in the urban community. This is important and seems to be forgotten by artists of such because in order to become a major star in the game today as a rapper participating in hip hop, in most cases your own people have to support what you're doing and deem you cool for others to follow suit and the urban community seem to never rock with Mensa's music, mostly because he's never really been taken as serious as his music lyrics portrays. In his music, he wants you to believe he's from the Chicago that became popular early 2010s for its violence and infamous rappers to survive it like Chief Keef, Lil Durk and G Herbo. Not to mention King Von and FBG Duck who lost their lives after becoming famous rappers. But Mensa isn't like those guys and I'm not sure if he knows how easy it is to tell. His lyrics are filled with violence as if he's about that life, but honestly, we don't believe you. Maybe academics does, but the majority sees through that and it comes off as corny when he attempts to be cooler than he actually is, being from the suburbs of Chicago, growing up the only half black kid in a punk band. On top of that, his raps always seem to imitate another artist who struggled with the line between corny and cool, Drake earlier in his career and it never played as well for Mensa as it did for the Six God, which brings me to Stun number 2, The Ability to Imitate Gone Wrong What I've noticed in a lot of famous artists is their ability to imitate different people almost spot on that also allows them to change certain things here and there to create their own persona. Nothing wrong with this as many artists have created successful careers imitating personas they think are cool and they've actually gotten away with it. The reason is simple, they are actually exceptionally talented as well, just needed to use an image popular or that would get them some notoriety. I think Tupac was great at imitating what he saw and wanted to become as well. Drake, even Jay-Z to an extent. But those guys were able to use those imitations and have success because of their talent and to me that's where they differ from Vic Mensa. He wants to imitate Chicago rappers or historic rock and roll artists, punk artists as well, but his talent in any of those doesn't shine through and it just looks like a bad version of something else causing there to be a disconnect in support. Yes, he can get views on the internet, but to go out and support, fans rather just grab the real thing. Stunt number 3. Unable to Sell Yes, being an entertainer is cool, especially in the social media era, but at the end of the day, it's still a business and how well you can sell your product is still the be all end all. In an overly saturated market like music, labels don't have time for an artist that only makes promises but can't deliver for whatever reason. You can say I'm wrong and Vic Mensa isn't corny or doesn't come off as an imitation of everything he's seen and thought was cool, but the numbers don't lie. The stats say no one's buying it and that's caused him to fall more and more to the back in any of the genres he takes on. His debut album sold 15,000 first week and not much since, even with a Kanye West feature and big named artists on the album like Pusha T, another great imitator by the way. The Dream, Chief Keef, none of it led to enough sales to warrant his labels releasing more than singles ever since 2017 and another flop album in 2023. He's attempted to cross over so many times like an MGK, but it just isn't working. I think Vic Mensa has to dig deep to find who he wants to be as an artist and stick to perfecting that and not projecting himself in so many lanes where he's just mediocre. All in all, I know this sounds harsh, but it's not to discredit Vic Mensa in a negative way. It's only to be respectfully honest about the way I think many view him as an artist. Is he a good rapper? Um, nah, but not for his writing, mostly the writer and how he delivers his writing. For example, he has a song called Strawberry Louis Vuitton where he sings for the most part and that actually sounds fly, but then he raps and it feels like Drake wrote it or could do it much better and there lies the problem. 
I could be wrong, and many of you love Vic Mensa, but to me, for these reasons, his growth in music is stunning. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC's ton of growth music, and I'm out.